we are back to van life. <laughs> Over the last five years, Eamon and I have spent a ton of time living in 60 square feet together, traveling everywhere from Mexico to Morocco. Hey, he likes it. And to be honest, I think we're pretty good at van life. But a lot has changed for us over the last year, including the addition of a new family member. Meet Oso. Moving into this teeny tiny space is sure to be a challenge because the three of us barely fit in our cabin. Oh, Oso! But we hope that Oso falls in love with van life so that the three of us can move in full time and travel together. We're leaving Canada! And we already have an error code. I'm so nervous. My life has changed forever. Mm. I just feel so free! <gasps> Today's the day we move out of the cabin and into the van. We hit the open road and return to life as it was. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. I'm so excited. I've already been up, had a coffee, did some stretching, took Oso for a walk. And today is duly exciting for me because it's the last day of radiation. So today is the last day of any and all treatment. <laughs> and what's a better way to mark it than with a road trip? But we seriously only have two hours to get this fan ready, so. Oh, he's awake. Good morning, Pooh. Best day ever. Best day ever. <laughs> Figure this might be the last good shower for a while. And I'm really not sure why, but it excites me to say that. <laughs> Currently accepting advice and tips on how to style short hair. I'm too scared to cut it. Eamon's not taking this seriously enough. One hour, folks. I don't know what to pack. I'm kind of overpacking probably, but I'm just excited. You need to come with us, yes. Mommy's gotta put away her clothes. Also, two seconds in and someone is rather comfortable. I think he's gonna be just fine. The thing I absolutely love about traveling with the van is you get to put everything away and it has a place. Done. You have so much clean underwear, Amen. I did laundry yesterday. So we have four drawers for clothing. I feel like I'm packing up for a damn baby. Where are we gonna put all this dog stuff, Os? Oso loves that spot. No, sir, I realize you've only lived in this van for two minutes, but what do you think so far? Not too shabby. One adjustment will definitely be the teeny tiny fridge. <laughs> I think I spoke too soon. This fridge is not tiny. Ugh. Who's ready for a road trip? First stop, radiation to ring that bell. Hear those plates? You're gonna fix that. Yesterday we had some last minute issues with the van. Now I'm getting an engine oil level, not level while driving, is that what that said? Beeping is my seatbelt. Got a lot going on here this morning. <laughs> Barely pulled out of our driveway when we already have an error code. Van trips, huh? <laughs> Does seem a little low. You get your oil on your dipstick, drive, okay? Okay, brother, we drive. Oh, so you're gonna stay here, buddy. We are running a little late for radiation. Might have been my fault. But Beck ran out of the car. I'm just getting Oso set up. Oh my god, I'm so hot! <laughs> gonna go for a little burn with the boy. It was right. Come on, buddy. 
Well, that's a great way to burn the bear out. I'm so, so proud of you, buddy. I think originally we were planning on doing a lunch. The most important thing when you're vlogging and you finish radiation and you got a dog that's panting and sweating, you don't want hunger to add to that list. So we stopped and got a burger. Mm. Oh no, look at the sauce drop. Oh boy. Let's go look. Yeah, get it. And we're dropping on the dog. Take two of the lunch scene. This is what I was envisioning. Two. An adventure <laughs> to getting through the last year of adventure, let's call it, into all the adventures ahead. Ah! Cheers, Cheers. Baby. the hottest day of the year. Let's just get out of here, right? Eh? Cheers. Get out of the city. Get back to the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like van life with a dog is literally a whole other game. Oh my gosh, is it ever? Do you feel better? Now that we're no longer hangry, much better. It's time to tell you the game plan. Our favorite band for a long time has been Mount Joy. We've been keeping our eye on their tour dates and not knowing exactly when we finished treatment, but we saw that there was a show in New York City on Friday. Today's Thursday. Thursday. That's tomorrow night and we snagged some last minute tickets. So we are headed to New York City. We are currently six and a half hours from the Big Apple. The journey begins now. Thanks to Captain Eamon, Osa and I just had a little nap in the back and we're approaching the border. Beauty, look at this! I know you're an RV, but you're gonna go through the park. Aw, you're my lucky lady, huh? So 425. Appreciate you. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I can't wait to cross a border. I just think it'll be fun <laughs> to do something different. Bex just prepping me on my P's and Q's because I've been known to probably say things I shouldn't at the border. You don't have a job in Canada, you guys. Uh, we, we, we have a tea company. You believe us or what? Last time with us saying we're YouTubers is YouTube is an American company and they think that we're for some reason trying to stay in the States forever. But we ain't. Oh my gosh, are we here? I'm so nervous. <laughs> Not sure I'd let that guy into the border. Hey. How you doing? Good, how are you folks today? Not too bad. Shut thing. Gets me every time. <laughs> Feel like a criminal. Did we go the wrong way? Going we made it to America! Right. Oso, what do you think of the state so far? Oso's first country! America, home of the donut. Gallons? What's a gallon? Please pay first. Thank you. Good deal. I know we're at a gas station and all, but there's nothing like peeing in your own pee funnel. Welcome back, pee funnel! Excuse me? If you live in a van, or even camper van, a few times in the year, put a pee funnel in. It's a game changer. I invented it probably five years ago. I'm obsessed with the fact that I just wash my hands with my favorite soap in my sink. Is there a better way to travel? We are just under four hours to New York City. We're in Syracuse? Just past. Just past Syracuse. Honestly, just reflecting. Reflecting on the year that was. Almost to the day I had a, my first MRI last year in September. So it's just been such a freaking year. Anyways, I think I'm tired. <laughs> you want some protein bar? <laughs> I just feel so free. Like we're almost in New York City and we just get to be, you know? I think a major difference of traveling with Oso is going to be a slower pace. If it were just Eamon and I, we'd see the four hours away from New York City and probably just gun it to New York. And now I'm kind of like, should we stop? Does he need any, another pee break? He's doing great though. Made it to a rest stop. 
I'm out of shape. <laughs> Truck stop here. Side of the road kind of dog. <laughs> I want to thank ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. ThreadUp is an online thrift store that I've been turning to over the last couple of years anytime I need a wardrobe refresh. I love that when I'm thrifting, I am not supporting the fast fashion world that we live in. Plus, I'm not much of a shopper, but ThreadUp makes it super simple to navigate. You can filter by your sizes and brand preferences, and there's also a feature called Thrift Their Look where you can thrift an entire outfit of someone you love. So without further ado, let's show you what I thrifted for fall, starting with this basic black tee from Madewell that just everyone needs a staple of in their wardrobe. I also picked up this Levi's denim jacket, which is a bit oversized and super versatile for this time of year. These super cool Ugg boots, which are so comfy. This Free People bodysuit, which had an estimated retail price of $64, and it only cost me $20.99. And these Pilcro and letterpress jeans, which retail for $178, and the thread up price was $46. You can shop my picks by using the link below and get 30% off your first order using code BECK. I've turned to our trusty app iOverlander for a spot, but it's always a little sketchy when you roll in really late at night. Whoever left this spot did give us two photos. What do you guys think? Oh, I think this looks like it. It's a great spot. Yeah, it's this is great. There's like a little creek. Wow. Hello. Welcome home. I promise I had grand plans for our first meal. Oh no. I know someone who would choose this every single day, huh? Thanks, baby. Oh yeah, it's British. Dale. <laughs> <laughs> it's been sitting on our counter for a week. Day one of van life, expect the unexpected. Easy dinner, easy cleanup. I really love that van life reminds you how precious resources are like water, for example. Remember Adam always talks about the time he first came to visit us and how stressed he would be trying to help us do dishes and stuff because we'd both just be watching him like. And I'm doing the dishes, this is really fun. Come to Scotland, it'll be fun, they said. <laughs> so we've got these covers that go on all the windows up front, but also can sleep all up there. He can sleep there, here, here, here. Cannot sleep here. Not allowed. Bedtime routine. Oh, there we go. It's only 9.15, but it's been a long day. We're gonna hit the sack and wake up at a good time in the morning and make it to the city. It is kind of crazy how we're at some random park up spot. Feels like we're at home. Might as well just do it because I know you're gonna make me. The real bedtime routine of van life. Sir? Time to go, come on. Yeah, good boy. Good boy, yes. Good boy, come on. This <laughs> what if I just move on? <laughs> come on. Good boy. In the event that you're new around here, I wanted to show you a 10 second tour of our bed setup. So this is what we call couch mode. All we have to do is lift the sheets, then pull the backrest of the couch up, and then underneath the bed, I'm pulling out this Sturdy thingamabob. And there you have it, a full queen size length bed. I think I have a solution for this. <gasps> oh fudge! <laughs> Honey, you can't come up here now. What was originally built for friends and human guests. I don't think this is gonna hold another human. So <laughs> ideal. Is now our Oso bed! <laughs> He's gonna use it as a platform to jump on our bed. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> so you stay here. You stay here. That's good. Yeah, good boy. Boy, boy oh, it's so, oh, yeah, it's a good, it's a good boy. boy. Good night, friends. <laughs> also, so go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> Good morning, Oso. How'd you sleep? 
You want out of here, huh? <sighs> Alright, probably have to pee. Good morning. You better not run into that river, though, Oz. Morning. Look at this beautiful spot. How long until Oso goes in that water? 13, 14 seconds. I like this. I like this a lot. I'm gonna take him for a burn. <laughs> Come on, bud. I think yesterday was a really hectic start to jumping back in the van with a dog. It was super hot. Eamon and I weren't readjusted yet. It was just a day and already this morning I'm reminded of why we love van life so much. It's so slow. It's a great first night and morning of van life. This van has a composting toilet which is such a game changer. For many years, Eamon and I did not have a toilet in a van. The composting toilet does not smell and is super easy to maintain. Drive this forward a little. Voila! The only negative I have to report on that is there's no bidet. I really miss my bidet. How posh am I? Three hours from NYC, Yay. and we got a halfway dog park. So hour and a half, we're gonna burn this guy out even more. Oh boy. The drive's beautiful, everything's great, but really I put on the camera because we tagged Mac Joy in a story and said we were coming to their concert and they DM'd us saying it would be cool to meet. It would be cool to meet Mount Joy. Hi honey, I love you too. We made it to the dog park, but it's like got a gate or something. So we didn't find the epic dog park we were looking for, but nice spot for brunch. This cheese is actually frozen, so I just turned down the fridge. Hey, it smells like New York City. <laughs> You're a happy boy. New York! An hour and a half! Hello, folks, and welcome to New York City. Now you guys might be wondering like what is your plan for New York City? Good question, Beck. Such a good question. The truth is we have no idea. We fall on the 0% plant, which is why we end up at dog parks that are locked. But it's all working out. Mount Joy just wrote back. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, they're gonna put us on the guest list. And means we're hanging with the <laughs> Joy Band, dude! <laughs> Gonna meet our favorite band. And tell themselves not to watch the street. I hope they don't ask us to sing. <laughs> <laughs> we went from peaceful, beautiful scenic highway to city like that. We in New York, welcome, welcome. Come along, you're coming with. Good driving, baby. Good driving. Rock Are you gonna embarrass Slap me? <laughs> <laughs> the last time we visited New York in a van, we had a lot of luck sleeping and parking in Brooklyn. So we've just crossed the Brooklyn Bridge and we're going to do our best to find parking. Not looking good. I think this could be a long mission. So this is the street that was on I Overlander. New York, New York. There ain't no city like New York City. Um, but we're both a little slapped, a little tired and hot. This is what van life honestly normally looks like. 
and we're like an hour and a half away from the venue. There's lots to be grateful about this spot. A, we fit, and B, it's quiet. It's on the far coast of Brooklyn. Apparently, you're not allowed to stay here on Friday nights, so it's illegal. Whose crazy idea was this road trip anyways? No parking, Tuesday, Friday, midnight to 3 a.m. Excuse me, sir, you're actually not allowed to park here. Mission burn out the bear. Start now. So the area that we're parked up is like Red Hook shipping area. It's kind of like by the docks. So it just means we'll have to tire him out and then maybe jump in an Uber to get down to the venue. I was thinking we could take those city bikes. City bikes, one wheels, found coffee. I'll, I'll buy Hey, how are you? Oh, 12's good. You had to get booted all the way over here? It's too hot in the sun. Good boy. Lucky he's got free refills here. His name is Oso. It's the most popular dog in New York here. This is the only bench we could find and we're getting soaked from the water fountain. This park's crazy busy. Proud mom? Proud mom. Ready? Stop number two on the mission to tire out Oso, New York bagels. Beck just literally took me on like a 10 kilometer walk to get here. So I hope this is worth it. Come here, Oso. How you doing, boss? All right. Is this the best shop in town? Of course. It this looks pretty fresh, fresh yeah, anyway. No, let's do no toast. Can you do vegan cream cheese? Yes, I do. Oh my. This is so cute. This is dinner, dog. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Amen and Beck certified. I don't even know what this place is called. Monaco Street Bagels. Everything a New York City bagel should be. Chewy, loaded with cream cheese. Chewy and loaded with cream cheese. And fresh. Mm -hmm. Tofu cream cheese is working. Mm -hmm. Well, that was a good four hour walk. I don't think Oso's ever put in that many steps. He is barely walking, so he's gonna be A-OK -okay for the night. We have 20 minutes until we need to leave. This is what we call a van life freshen up. Brush those teeth, wash those pits. Reapply Dio, <laughs> wash the back of your knees. Ooh. This might sound gross, but I might need to change my underwear. <laughs> like, just for sweat reasons alone. Hello? Yeah, how much for a shower? Is that everything? It's everything. <laughs> This is gonna be so worth it. Do you want like just my hand soap? Anything. Foamy hand soap? That'll work. You are not gonna believe how good that feels. I honestly can't wait for you to experience it. <laughs> In our setup, you might be a little confused. It's just this temporary shower curtain. We move the composting toilet out. Too tired to show you the whole thing, but watch our van tour. Hit the like button if you can relate that there's dirty and then there's city dirty. Yeah. You would think living in the country you'd get dirty. No. no. City dirty is next level. Like my feet are black. I'm thinking about getting also in there. And I was wearing running shoes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, that was one millimeter of water and my life has changed forever. I'm ready for the concert. Oh, so you're staying here, my guy? He's all good. All right, now we just need to find a ride. <laughs> I can't believe they let normal people ride these things. Woo! Are we just on the highway? Yeah, we gotta get on the big bridge. Oh my gosh. Did he, I don't know if we're gonna make this, brother. You guys good, right? We're good, huh? Good? This is how you do it in New York. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know, this is crazy. Amen and Becker in New York, baby! Let's go! We all had two years of forced quarantine. This last year, Eamon and I have been in quarantine. This is the most amount of people I've seen in so long. I'm so <laughs> excited! Let's go to a concert! A special entrance? <laughs> Damn! I'm so excited! Sheep! They're starting with sheep! In, in the, the basement, basement sometimes. Going downstairs. 
stairs. We're going to meet the band. Making me feel extra special again. These are some secret stairs. Great show, dude. Excellent show. Thank you. Is so this going to be on the internet? Maybe. No oh, shit. <laughs> How's it going? Hey, I'm Sam. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Beth. Oh, so. Hi, honey. Just when we thought our good boy couldn't be any more good, you are the best boy, honey. Love you, baby. Love you, baby. It's been a good trip. Bonk. I left my heart in New York. You can shop my picks by clicking the link in our description box and use code BECK for 30% off your first order with ThreadUp.